Hey, it's James in the Net News Ledger studio. In on the phone from Queens Park is Minister Gravel. Minister Gravel, we have some interesting news today on real estate in Thunder Bay. Well, we sure did. I mean, the uh, the survey that was done by a magazine with a lot of credibility called Money Sense that said the Thunder Bay is the best place to buy real estate uh, in the country is tremendous. Those of us who are obviously working to help grow the economy in, uh, in Thunder Bay and the region, we know about the good story in Thunder Bay, and, uh, and it's, it's something that actually is so encouraging to, uh, to recognize that now this is something that is becoming a national story. Um, this is a city that, despite the challenges, is thriving, and uh, there's no better marker than that than the fact that uh, um, uh, a magazine with this kind of credibility puts Thunder Bay at the top of the list in terms of the place to buy real estate. And I think, again, it's a reflection of, uh, of a city that's, uh, you know, done some remarkable things to make our, pl- our, our, our place attractive, our community attractive. Uh, certainly, uh, we know certainly about Lincoln University and Confederation College, the Northern Ontario School of Medicine, the Faculty of Law. Um, you know, this is uh, uh, remarkable stuff, and, and that is something that um, obviously is drawing people in. And may I say, uh, clearly, uh, uh, we are bringing people into the community uh, and attracting people to the job market, and now it's confirmed with a story like this. So this is something that I certainly hope, um, with the help of, of, of uh, a media organization such as yours, we'll continue to get out there so the people of Thunder Bay recognize that we are indeed a thriving city. And all of this before the ring of fire comes to bear. Well, it's so it's so interesting. I mean, I've I've had a number of discussions recently uh, related to the ring of fire. I, in fact, I was on TVO's The Agenda that aired last night. I uh, know that the Chamber of Commerce came out with a report to, to uh, as well just a day or so ago. And you know, I mean, I think again, despite the challenges we're facing with the ring of fire, this is a project that's uh, that's moving forward in, in a very positive way. Uh, uh, we've got a we've got a company, Norm Resources, that's uh, keen to move forward on a nickel project in the Ring of Fire. The province itself has made strong commitments to uh, to infrastructure for the Ring of Fire. Uh, we're working very closely uh, with the Matalo First Nations. Uh, uh, this is, uh, as you say, uh, we now have a city that's uh, that's been uh, determined to be the uh, the best place to invest in the entire country, and it can only get better. So uh, I'm, I, I'm uh, you know, obviously, can, as the minister, you know, with some degree of responsibility for economic development uh, in northern Ontario, this is always great news to hear this about your community. Uh, but it's even more important that we continue to work to make sure that, that that continues to happen and grows, certainly the Ring of Fire and many of the other mining developments uh, that are happening uh, in, the, in the Thunder Bay and northwestern Ontario region. That's perhaps not as well known as it should be either. Uh, the fact that, you know, we have uh, new gold in the Rainy River uh, area uh, now moving forward on a gold mine. We have a new gold mine opening up in the Red Lake area, Rubicon Minerals. We have, uh, uh, you know, a partnership up in the uh, Geraldine Greenstone area with where Centera uh, Gold has, uh, has committed to investing $300 million in the, in the Premier Gold Project. These are all parts of sending a message that Thunder Bay and northwestern Ontario are not only attractive places to invest in, but that, that the investment is happening, and that's clearly drawing people to the community. Again, uh, as emphasized by uh, uh, the, the, uh, the, the story that now we are indeed the top place in the country in terms of real estate, place to invest in real estate. Good news all around. You bet, and thank you for taking some time to share some more good news with us. A pleasure. Thank you, Minister Gravel. Take care. Bye. Hey, it's James in the Net News Ledger studio. In-